The two terms, megabits and megabytes, sound very similar, but there's actually quite a big difference. In this video, we're going to look at what this difference is. Please do subscribe if you haven't already, it really helps this small channel grow. Megabits and megabytes are both units of digital information, but they measure different things. A bit is the smallest unit of digital information and can have a value of 0 or 1. It is usually used to measure the speed of data transfer or the size of digital storage capacity. A megabit is equal to 1 million bits. A byte, on the other hand, is a group of 8 bits. It is used to measure the amount of digital information in a file or on a storage device. A megabyte is equal to 1 million bytes. Megabits are written with a lowercase b, and megabytes are written with an uppercase b. In practical terms, when referring to internet speeds, internet service providers usually advertise their plans in megabits per second, or Mbps. Note the lowercase b for megabits. This indicates the rate at which data can be transferred over the internet. So for example, a plan with a speed of 50 Mbps means the data can be transferred at a rate of 50 megabits per second. When referring to file sizes, such as for images, videos, or software downloads, the size is usually given in megabytes. For example, a software program with a size of 100 MB means that it requires 100 megabytes of storage space on a computer or other device. The reason we use megabits for speed is because when you visit a website or send an email, it gets broken into packets, sent in different directions, and then arrives at your computer rearranged but whole. This fairly chaotic data flow isn't easy to divide into bytes, so speed is generally measured using megabits per second rather than megabytes. It's important to note that one byte is equal to eight bits. So one megabyte is equal to eight megabits. This means that when comparing the speed of an internet connection to the size of a file, you need to convert between megabits and megabytes. This is easily done by using a converter online if you need to work it out. Please do subscribe if you've enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching.